400 nautical miles off the coast of Africa, there's a Portuguese island known as the birthplace of Cristiano Ronaldo. But I knew there was something more that people didn't know about it, something that gave it the title of the Pearl of the Atlantic Ocean. So I packed my bag and went up to the mountains. These trails that we are doing are actually quite famous in Madeira. They have a lot of them and they are called Luvadas, which you can translate to water course because you basically always walk next to these water courses that they build to bring the water from the mountain down to the villages around the island. And they are, they are so nice. They are very busy at this time of the year but I mean it's worth it even though it's it's full of people I mean I understand the view the views are so nice and the waterfalls I understand that everybody wants to come here So we got to this place where the echo is just perfect. Listen to this. Echo! Hello! So we are trying to see where these tunnels go and I can't see shit because of this lamp on my face <laughs> but we are trying to see where this goes because this is not the official path so we are we are trying to discover where this where this is leading to but you can actually see the water I don't know if you can see but the water is flowing just right here so we were just following this tunnel where nobody goes and we got to the top of that waterfall that I just showed you downstairs. There's absolutely no one here. I was happy with what I was discovering and although the island is pretty small I knew it wasn't over yet So I thought to myself, what if I go above the clouds? 
And so that's what I did. Okay, let's go. So the plan today is to go from the second highest point on the island to the highest point on the island. What is this? Look. I made it. The highest point in Madeira Island. Because first, it tastes better, and second, you deserve it. Mm. So good. You can actually see the place where, where I started. It's right there. We should go, because I still have to hike all the way back before it gets dark. I don't know exactly why. But this trail is basically empty right now. I'm pretty much the only one. I'm not sure if it's always like this or if I'm late. I'm probably a bit late. Maybe that's why it's so empty. But I mean, I don't mind it. I have the whole mountain for myself. <sighs> Guess what? I made it on time for sunset. <sighs> and I'm dying. <laughs> 